All right, my friends, what is going on? And welcome back to another reaction video. Today, we're cracking into it. There's no time to lose, guys. I'm sitting riverside. I am in my van. We're doing this. It's number 75 on the list. It's Earl Thomas. I've seen him before, like I said, and I'll see him again. But the first thing I want to do... Well, the first thing I want to do is just get some stats. Because they served me well in the previous video. There he is. Not the guy that I remembered, um, but definitely one that I've seen. He's only five foot ten. He's only five foot ten. In the last video, we looked at a corner. In this video, we're coming one in or, or one back, so to speak, and we're looking at the safety. The guy that, the guy that's just going to hammer these um, these runners and these receivers if they break that first line of defence. You know what I mean? They're just going to come in and just smash them, or you know, be, be explosive enough to, to break off a pass or or clean something up or chase someone down. Anyways, guys, the first thing that I see here when I look through his high school career is that he, he ran track, which is not surprising. Competed as a sprinter and a jumper. Um, personal best long jump in high school of 7.14 metres. Uh, considered a four-star recruit by Rivals.com. Thomas was ranked as the number 12 athlete in 2007. How old is this count? 31. He's 31. He's not old, actually. He's only a year older than me. 5'10", 92 kgs. Went to Texas. Got picked up in the first round of the 2010 draft. Pick number 14. Was at the Seahawks from 2010 to 2018. Then went to the Baltimore Ravens last year. Won one Super Bowl. He's been in the Pro Bowl seven times in his 10-year career, which is pretty decent. 70% uh, straight right there. He's a tackle machine. He's had 713 total tackles as of 2019. And they don't have his stats for this year yet. But with that being said, guys, he's played over 150 games, I'd say, at this point. Almost 150. Yeah, he has, actually. He's played over, over 150. Um, he's a veteran. And his name's Earl Thomas. Let's get into it. I didn't him. I was super excited. Safety, I'm a corner, I'm like, I love it. Definitely. You guys are gonna be working together back there. It was a new uniform in 2019, but the same old Earl Thomas. Ow! Keeps it down fields intercepted at the 40 yard line. Pressure sack back at the 14-yard line, Earl Thomas. He's always run the ball, making plays, and that's what you want to be. I like that hat. The first thing that I see about this guy, <clears throat> the first thing that I think about this guy, we're not talking about Von Bell. Look, in fact, I've never seen him before, but I like the hat. In fact, I've got the exact same one. Kind of freestyle out there a little bit because he's he's that smart of a player. He can anticipate plays. I think the best thing he has for him is just how instinctive he is. He's just head and shoulders from a lot in that aspect. Oh my god, he got that! Brady throws it up deep. It's going to be intercepted by Earl Thomas on the end of the line. <clears throat> See, a word like instinctive, right? I use explosive. I used initiative, but he's instinctive. He uses instinct. And that comes through years and years of playing the same sport. Every single safety, every single cornerback that makes it in the league would have to have, you know, a pretty high level of um, of football nous and IQ. Right? I mean, to get to the NFL, that is the pinnacle, right? Hey, Earl. I mean, your timing on that. Let's go. I gotta get one. You're gonna, you're gonna have 99 yard pick. He knows how to disguise coverages, anticipate where the ball is going. I say he's usually in the right spot at the right time. Shit, there's one thing I forgot to, to look at. What was his what was his 40 yard dash? Because I always like to look at that. 449, okay. Alright, so we've got a quote here from Mike Mayock. I've probably watched 300 to 400 snaps a piece. And in my opinion, Earl Thomas is the most instinctive free safety I've seen on tape in five or six years. He's a playmaker. He's got loose hips and he's got the best range of any centre fielder I've seen coming out of college football in a long time. That was Mike Mayock on, well, 
10 years ago, on April 18th, 2010, uh, talking about Earl Thomas back in the day. And it seems as if... It seems as if he's... he's it seems as if, if my intuition served me correctly, that he has basically lived up to that expectation, if not more. Fantastic play by Thomas. Tried to bang it on Edelman right over the goal line. Thomas comes in with that off right hand. Knocks oh, mate, 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 mate. He'll come up and hit you too, you know. He's one of the guys that's playing. What's he, what's he saying at that point when he decides, no, I'm going to go for the interception? Play by Thomas. Tried to bang it on Edelman right over the goal line. Thomas comes in with that. Brady, he's cocking it. He's looking to his left. He sees Edelman coming in. But he also sees number 45 there and sees the cornerback coming round to try and snuff it out. He knows Edelman's about to get that. Look at Edelman. He's on the line. He is on the he's on the end zone line. If he catches this pass as a touchdown all day, Tom Brady's even, Tom Brady's off the fucking ground. Tom Brady fires to Edelman. You know, quick slant route. It's a touchdown all day, but not when you're playing Earl Thomas. We'll see that in real real time again. Goal line. Thomas comes in with that off right hand, knocks it down. He'll come up and hit you too, you know. He's one of the guys that's playing full speed at all times. I like that. Bro, he's a safety, he's gonna have to hit you. He's got he's gotta bring down guys like is that Derek Henry? No, it's not. But he's gotta bring down guys like Derek Henry. And look, if you're not if you don't go in hard, if you don't fucking try and initiate that contact, he is going to steamroll you. He had one play that stuck out to me in his last Pro Bowl. He was kind of like going out of bounds, but he was still in bounds. And Earl Thomas leveled him. And this was the Pro Bowl game. Someone tell Earl that we are in the third quarter of the Pro Bowl. And I think that basically explains his demeanor and what he brings to the football field. He's I like this guy. I don't know why, but I like him. Do you? He was one of the original leaders. Yeah, well, you wouldn't be doing that to uh, Lamar Jackson as the quarterback, because he would have shaken you off. He would have given you a spin move. He would have given you a bang, 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 and uh, laters. Yeah. He took advantage of that quarterback. He certainly did. In a boom with the Seahawks. Inside, inside. He brought that same playing style to the Ravens. Get out of here, Larry! In week seven, Earl Thomas returned to the city he called home for his first nine seasons in the league. Yeah, he's a beast. Earl had a great game, and uh, it meant a lot to Earl. He's certainly a beast. He got a Ravens win and a little revenge. Earl didn't have much to Oh, Chris Carson got leveled! He got a Ravens Look at this! Oh! Okay, first contact, in fact, look at this guy. Oh, fuck, look at that, bro. Chris Carson, the running back, I think that's his name, he's running full speed into these guys, right? And he is literally being stopped. Instant, like, being stopped, like a brick, like running into a fucking brick wall. He got stopped. Yet his upper body wants to continue moving forward, but his lower body ain't going nowhere with that defense. That hit would put people in bed for a week. But I'm sure he got up the next day and trained. That's insane. That's fucking insane. He got a Ravens win and a little revenge. Oosh. Earl didn't have much to say, you know, he just wanted to go do. Yeah, Earl. Russell Wilson, go deep. Back have a look at this. We tip. Tackles. Earl just played a really good disciplined football game. That was great to see. You know, no matter how old you may think he is, man, he still have a, a long time to play. Oh, I'm the best in the business. <laughs> okay, so this next guy is a tackle. Plays for the same team, the Ravens. Probably not gonna, not gonna get my juices going as much as the other guy, but you never know. He's number 74 on the list. His name's Ronnie Stanley. Guys, I want to thank you so much for being here. This is me in my van. As I imagined, making shit happen. Thank you, thank you for watching. This is this is this is pretty fucking cool, and um, you know it's all it's all good, man. This is what I this is what I enjoy. This is what I enjoy. Whether it be a reaction video, whether it be a lifestyle video, whether it be a bodybuilding video, whether it be anything, 
that I have to use my brain for, you know what I mean? That I have to be creative to do is what I enjoy. And that's what this series is about. So guys, I want to say cheers. Thank you for watching. And I'll see you soon. For Ronnie Stanley. Ronnie Stanley. I know Ronnie Lott, but I don't know Ronnie Stanley. Let's get into it.